Hello, I'm Lawrence Fishburne. The internet has revolutionized the way we conduct business. Today, the quest for faster and more efficient mediums is leading to even greater technological advancements, as we're about to discover. Blockchain technology has grown over the past decade by providing trustless and highly robust solutions for maintaining distributed ledgers. However, in spite of the many blockchain approaches that currently exist, there are a number of challenges that have not been solved in a single solution. Blockchain, in my view, is one of the few technologies we'll see in our lifetime that fundamentally changes computing. It's on par with the internet. In kind of the mid-90s, I think people didn't really realize how far-reaching the internet would become. But we all had kind of a feel that, uh, you know, it's going to be really an important technology. Blockchain represents trustless computing. And so right now, all of the data that we have online is typically held by what you would think of as trusted authorities. In general, big corporations control all of the data. The thing that's so neat about blockchain, it lets you have a system where people own their own data. So identity theft, for example, is a huge problem, obviously, in today's world. Blockchain instead makes it where the data itself isn't what's important. It makes it where the control of the data is what's important. So the data resides on the blockchain, and then you have cryptology, public-private key encryption, where the private key is what lets you use the data. And that's a much better way. It's, it's really the future of where the world will go. So the big problems are scalability. Cost is probably the single biggest one to really have it expand into mainstream use. Privacy, fraud theft, loss, and stability. Blockchain gives you a solution where lots of different entities with lots of disparate interests all can work on the same system. The reason that that works is because, again, it's a trustless system. The new field of blockchain computing has the potential to revolutionize how we use data, how we spend our money, and how we maintain our identities online. Although blockchain started with cryptocurrencies, it is being used in many different fields now. It is being applied to tracking produce as it moves across the world, managing digital identities online, or maintaining company records. Yet, for blockchain to fulfill its potential, it must have practical uses. So supply chain is a big area. They can't track exactly where food has come from, and so they end up throwing away you know, millions of dollars of food because they haven't tracked it appropriately. The voting is another example. In a voting system, you can have very secure votes where you can assure to both the voters and the final tallies how the votes happened and make sure they're not being hacked or changed. It's a very secure system. Uh, another example is identity. Identity is a solution where people can maintain their identities online. Blockchain really can fundamentally change so many different industries. It's going to become ubiquitous, a lot of times behind the scenes of almost everything that we do. Cost is the single biggest factor when you want to use blockchain in enterprise use. And enterprise use is going to be the biggest area of growth in blockchain over the next couple years by far. It's going to be what really takes blockchain to the next level. I think cryptocurrency and Bitcoin have kind of put it on the radar for a lot of people. But when it's actually used and deployed, it's going to be used by big corporations. So the single biggest factor for corporations is cost. Right now, transactions can cost dollars each. And if you're processing millions of transactions per second, you know, that's not a realistic cost. You want to use blockchain for where it's going to be growing the most over the next couple of years, enterprise use, institutional use, or mainstream use. You have to get the cost down to a reasonable point. We hope this program has served as an inspiration to you. Be sure to join us next time as we continue to profile the thought leaders impacting business. I'm Lawrence Fishburne.